Hey folks, dude here, coming at you, coming at you, coming at you. Tuesday, 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 October 11th. Well, I hate to tell you this, but it's going to be one of those situations where we've had really just not the best luck right now in terms of things going on with the podcast, things going on in terms of around the cabin. We've been having issues with, let's see, some of the software. I think one of our computers took a dump. It's just stupid stuff that comes down by the pike, and, you know, it's just things that just happen. It's the stuff that sucks because, well, you know, you try to maintain your consistency, you try to maintain your continuity, and by and large, sometimes the show, you really, truly wish it to happen, it's just not going to happen tonight, okay? So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to wave off on tonight's podcast, of course, being on October 11th, 2016, Tuesday, my usual time for Dude After Dark, it's just not going to have happen. Now, what is going to happen is I'm going to give you guys kind of a little bit of a status update here. It's been in the news that pretty much that the Republicans are, oh, they're they're kind of doing that Japanese thing where you basically, you're seeing the boss guy now swiping the crap out of the middle management guy and everybody kind of does this holding back of support thing where they kind of bow their heads and they back away from the guy getting reamed. They're kind of doing that now with Donald Trump. Of all things, when you have guys like Paul Ryan, Rents Priebus, and these other, you know, huge, huge names in the RNC, Republican National Committee, coming out and saying, well, you know, uh, we're going to have to be very deferential in our support to Donald Trump, considering these uh, allegations of him talking about grabbing her by the P word and, you know, this body talk that he had. Okay, let's put this in perspective, okay? This was a conversation that was recorded. He didn't know it was going to be recorded. He was talking smack with his friends in the back room. He was probably just, you know, BSing like, yeah, man, if I could get this chick, I'll pop a couple Tic Tacs, lay a kiss on her, grab her right by the cooter, and da 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 Oh, man, I would give it what fur. We've all done that stuff, okay? Married, unmarried, what have you. I'm not going to excuse his behavior, and I'm not going to try to get in the head of him at the time being 59 years old for us to hear two minutes of his life to say, yep, that defines Donald Trump exactly. I'm not going to do that, okay? And there's a very simple reason why I'm not going to do that. I'm not Donald Trump, okay? I'm not worth billions of dollars. I don't have his lifestyle. I don't have the kind of life experiences that he's had. I am not Donald Trump. How Ever. I can put myself in my own head along the lines of this. I just called the Republican National Committee earlier. There's a phone number of which to use. You can call them. You can rage comment. You can rage upon them. You can let them know your feelings. And you can pretty much let them know how you think they're doing. And I let them know this exactly. I'm not going to be exactly verbatim, but I'm going to let you guys know pretty much what I said. What I said essentially was this. If Donald Trump loses this election because of this establishment gerrymandering, lack of support thing from Reds Priebus and from Paul Ryan, I am not ever, as in never, I am never voting for another Republican ever, ever, ever again. again. In name only, I will not vote for another Republican, no matter what you guys say, how you posit it, and I'm not going to do an item such along those lines as what I just described previously. And the chicken was answering the phone, like, oh, no, no, we completely, fully support Donald Trump. Well, you're listening to things, that this, that, and the other thing. I was like, you know what? On the news, they're now saying that you guys are shying away from him, and he's losing scads of support from you guys now backing away from him with this phone call. Uh, I'm sorry, with this with this video where you guys are backing away from him, you're kirking out because you're trying to save your own asses. I am a registered Democrat in the state of Maryland. I am basically an independent, and if I wasn't an independent, I would have no way whatsoever to vote in my state of residency. Because unfortunately in Maryland, if you're a Democrat or Republican, you can only vote for those parties that you are part of. You cannot vote for the other side, and if you're an independent... You're screwed. You can't vote for anybody because nobody runs as an independent in the state of Maryland. Well, hang it up. Don't even try to pass go. Don't collect $200. You're screwed. You're screwed. I'm a Democrat, so I can F with the process. And there's a very good reason why I F with the process. It's mostly because there is no good number of Republicans in the state of Maryland in which to elect. So pretty much you're stuck being a Democrat and screwing with the primaries. Now, where did I get that idea from? Years ago, I was I was a registered libertarian. I was one of four in the city of Baltimore. The city of Baltimore is the only city that is um, incorporated in Maryland. Well, it's the only city in Maryland. I mean, everybody else is pretty much not locked in. Baltimore is the only true city in Maryland. And I was one of four libertarians. Before that, I was a Republican. And I was talking with her, and um, 
Of all things, she's now passed, but, you know, she was an older person. And I was like, you know, so which, which party do you pertain to? She goes, I'm a Democrat. And I was like, really? You don't seem like a Democrat. She goes, no, I am not a Democrat. I'm a Democrat, so I can F. And she said it exactly like this. Older woman, she's like, I'm a Democrat, so I can F with the process. Take it as it were, you know, the four-letter word, I'm a Democrat, so I can F with the primaries. So I took that to heart. You know, when I moved out to Baltimore, I said, you know what? I'm no longer a city resident. I, I now reside in the county. I have to rejigger my uh, voter registration. I now have to go to a new place to vote because I am not no longer in the city. Thank the Lord. I am out of there. The city is not a place you wish to reside. It is a horrendous, horrible, almost third world country in terms of existence. If you're trying to get anything done with public services, it just don't happen unless it basically is politically connected. You don't get it. So essentially, I rejiggered my political affiliation. So I am now a Democrat in Baltimore County. And there's a reason why I get to screw with the process. Oh, man, do I get to screw with the process. I had such fun going, oh, boy, who do I vote for in the primaries? And now I get asked, who'd you vote for in the primaries? And I say, Bernie Sanders. That's right. I voted for Bernie Sanders in the primaries. And there's a very good reason why Hillary Clinton is not the person we wish to have as president of the United States. Not even so much of the health issues, but just the sheer inconsistency, the sheer amount of gamesmanship, the kind of horrendous things she's going to try to institute along the lines of the worst of the worst of the worst of a third term of Barack Obama. Yeah, she is not that person you wish to put in office because she's just not that person. You don't want Hillary Clinton in office as president. Trust me on this one. Even if you don't like Trump, even if you basically have to bite your tongue when you're voting for him, do not vote for Hillary. Trust me on this one. And one of my friends actually posted something on Facebook I took to heart. And he said, you know what? Why don't you go through your friends and see who likes Trump and who likes Hillary? And I was like, you know what? That's that's a good idea. So I went to Hillary's Facebook and I looked to see who of my friends was there. I had exactly the count of one. That's right. One person. And they got summarily, well, they got S canned, okay? As an S hit canned. S hit canned. You know, put the S and the hit together and you get exactly what I'm talking about. They got S hit canned. I basically booted my foot up their ass so hard that pretty much you saw a brown shoe tip with, uh, well, dookie on it sticking out from between their tonsils. I do not support somebody who supports her. They were gone post-haste, and that little bit of viper in my mist I could not afford to let have happen and hang out to do things going, well, I don't like the way that you said the so-and-so, reported. I don't like the way that you did the blah, 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 reported. And now I am looking for the vipers in my midst, and I am pretty much just booting them out by the wayside. So if you are Hillary supporter... And you happen to be, well, along the lines of somebody associated with my Facebook, read like facebook.com forward slash dude jerky. If you are a Hillary supporter, I will find you. And when I find you, I have a unique set of skills. I will remove you. And when I find you and remove you, I will block you. That's right. Just like the way they said in Taken, I will find you. I have a very unique set of skills. And when I find you, I will remove you. And I will block you. So anyway, along the lines of ways, shape, and form... I am now just not even remotely motivated, but I am now completely motivated to say I will definitely never vote for another Republican if they play this game and they enable it in such a way that the Democrats manage to take a win from a loss. The Republicans have this way of seeking and pulling from the sure jaws of victory defeat. For some reason, they just find it within their nature to go, well, as long as we're at the table and doing something, as long as we're sitting here and they're giving us crumbs, it's all good. Uh, As long as we're getting some notice, uh, as long as we get to sit in the uh, the committee room and do nothing at all, but as long as we got a presence, we we count. We really count. Uh, And the Democrats are going, oh, shut the F up, you. Okay, uh, please don't hurt us. Yeah, so that little cuckolded kind of suck up want to be just a member of the group to get absolutely nothing done because they're now a member of doing nothing. You guys pretty much are seeking your own demise, and I will have no effing part of it. And Trump even threw down the gauntlet, and he said, you know what? Here it is. If you are either for me or you're against me, this is how it's going to run. And if you guys do it in such a way that when I get in office that you try to jack with the process... I will take you out with great alacrity. 
He is throwing down the gauntlet that people have pretty much been saying from time and eternal, we are sick of politicians. We are sick of people who do the same thing over and over again in Washington, and they don't fix a blinking thing. All they do is go back in, do it over and over again, and seek and hope for new results. Balderdash. Not doing it. You guys are out. Not playing the game anymore. See ya. See ya. All right, folks, so that's one I'm going to break off. You know, eat good, keep it tendering, and always, always, you know what you love it. Do not vote for Hillary Clinton. And if you're a Hillary Clinton supporter, please remove yourself from my Facebook, from my YouTube, and anywhere else, because if I find you, well, let's just say I have a unique set of skills, and I will find you, I will remove you, and I will block you. See you guys. <coughs>